after a great night's sleep, after coming down from the summit, we're ready to walk all the way down to the gate and then spend the night in Arusha. Oh. And it'll be nice. And, and Jessica just did awesome getting up to the summit, I think. I don't know about awesome. I do think so. You listened so well, and you were pressure breathing all the way. And when I was in the front of the group, I could hear you pressure breathing all the way in the back. Whistling. You said, do I sound like a little bird? And I said, that's exactly how You're you want to sound. Dying bird. <laughs> you did say dying bird. Um, God, that experience was... Definitely one of the most, probably the most challenging combination of physical and mental uh, patience and, and control and perseverance that I've ever experienced. And I'll tell you right now, I would not have made it if it wasn't for you, for sure, because I didn't know anything about pressure breathing and I was nauseous and my stomach was upset and Melissa just kept saying, you know, you're going to be uncomfortable. Just be prepared. It's going to be a little uncomfortable. So every step of the way, I mean, I literally breathed with that crazy whistle. Every step. I'm sure everybody around me wanted to take their pole and stab me in the eyeball. <laughs> but it was the only way I could get enough air into my brain and actually feel pretty decent. And just the constant care and conversations, you know, this feels funny. What do I do with this medication? I'm not quite sure. If we hadn't had you here... It would have been a really scary experience, and I just felt like going up there, I felt like I was going to make it. I was prepared to be a little, little, but I just felt really safe, and that was really mainly because of you. So.